purpose. Look all around you. Describe your very, very first impressions. I feel uneasy and I don't see much, but I mm -hmm. sense something white. Yeah. It feels a little bit like this white um, kind of um, head that women were wearing in the Middle Ages. Um, Mm -hmm. I feel a pressure on my chest. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't see anything. I only sense it's a marketplace. Mm -hmm. okay. I seem to be watching something. While I watch, I think the way that I see is my own headgear or whatever. Uh, they're selling. Sense geese, white geese. Mm -hmm. Very good. I feel like a woman. I don't see myself, but I feel like a woman. I feel like this white in my dress and blue. I feel very uneasy. I have pressure on my chest for some reason. Mm -hmm. And in the middle of my stomach. Yes. Mm. We'll learn more about that. Anticipating something that's not pleasant. Mm -hmm. This will help us to learn more about it, but you're very safe. Now nothing can hurt you. So you can learn more about those feelings soon. And to take a moment, feel down your feet. Looks like I have these whole wooden shoes that they wear in Holland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like big hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can speak a little bit louder so I can hear you. I, mm -hmm. I, I feel like I wear wooden shoes like they wear in, in Holland. Yeah. And the market is near, it's like the ships, so it seems could be a fish market or something, and maybe. Maybe the ships arrive with the fish and other traders are there with whatever they have to offer. Mm -hmm. Something about geese. <coughs> Very good. Something about geese. Mm -hmm. How's the weather over there? It's, it's a bright day. It's, it's summery, I'd say. There's some clouds in the skies. The, the sky is blue, pale blue. Mm -hmm. And the, the ships, the sails, some of them have the sails still up or bringing down whatever, mm -hmm. small little boats or, yeah, uh -huh. I'd say. Mm -hmm. What can you hear over there? Um, a little bit of the noise that the wind makes, but gentle and it's like I think I f I'm very fearful so I you know when you're very fearful it feels like you have something in your ears you can't really hear you, mm. you're close to fainting or close to mm. yeah okay yeah okay I understand I want to learn more about that later let's move you now I want you to stay in that life but I want you now to stand outside of the house where you live in that life. I want you to be there now. I want you to open and to look at that house from the outside. And can you describe it for me, please? It's, um, it's a small little house and it's, um, it's all a bit clouded. I can't see it very clearly, but I know it has white bricks. And in between the bricks, it's all white, so we painted white. The door is the same red. Um, it's a very plain and a very small house. A long roof, like the roof goes far down. So I, I assume that the walls, the, the rooms are not very high. 
So we probably have to bend down a lot when you're moving in the side. Uh, mm -hmm. Look around the house, what can you see around the house? Outside? Mm -hmm. um, it's fading away. Okay, so I want you to look again about the entrance of this house. When you get closer, is the door is opening to the inside or to the outside? To the inside. Uh -huh. Very good. So walk into this house and tell me what do you see inside the space? It's dark. It takes a moment to actually yeah. see something. Yeah. Um, as you speak, the picture become more and more clear. Yeah, there's a table straight when I come in. There's not much space, it's really very small. Mm -hmm. Very small table and two chairs left and right of this table. Um, I sense the there's a bed. Um, Seems to be just that one room, this little house, very small house actually. And the bed seems to be on the right, which is something on the left I can't see again. It's like mm -hmm. clouded over. I can't see it. It's, it's natural. It's not visible to me. Yeah. I want to learn more about you for a moment. How old do you feel? 25. Uh huh. I want you to look down. Are you still wearing the wooden shoes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What else are you wearing? This, this dress, it's blue. Um, nice blue. Yeah. And it has some darker blue ribbon on it uh, where the seam is. It's kind of close to the, to the bit of my body and quite wide, so I could actually turn around and dance and it would swing around me. It's, it's a very beautiful dress, I like it. Mm -hmm, that's nice. It's yeah. Really nice, yeah, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. Short sleeves, actually. Short sleeves. I, I sometimes do tans. Mm. I like that, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like dancing too. Yeah. And do you carry anything with you or any jewelry? Uh, yeah, there's something around my neck. Like a black like a ribbon and there's like a medallion or that's a French word for it I don't know it's a picture something like a picture in it mm. uh, at least it symbolizes something like mm. yeah S someone I I think it's my mother's it's a memory of my mother mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not even sure if it is showing her or a symbol mm. of something that we that I cherish because it, she cherished it. I, I inherited it. I inherited it from her. Oh. Uh, and I like it. It's, yes. It means a lot to me. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Is your mom still alive? Or no, I'm very she... sad. I feel like I'm very, I, yeah, I really want to cry because she's not there anymore. Yeah. I miss her. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, take a deep breath into it. We can learn more about this feeling. You feel she passed long ago or recently? Not so long ago. And in a way, I'm so grateful she could go. I don't know why that is, but yeah. maybe mm. because she wanted or it seemed very appropriate, but I still do miss her. Of course. Because we were close mm -hmm. and I don't know. I think it feels as if I can only do or fulfill something once she's gone because I will not step into my power as long as she is around. I will rely too much on her. Mm. I know this. Mm. But I love her very much. Yeah. 
Oh, she's around actually. Mm. In spirit, and I'm very grateful. Mm. She is. You can feel her. Yeah. 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 She's she's very bright, you know. Mm. I can't see myself anymore now. She's very her presence is huge. Mm -hmm. Are you able to see her now? She's like a bright light. She's, she's like a bright light. Yeah, she's like a very bright light and she seems to actually uh, it's I don't know, it's really funny. It's as if as if she's me. Mm -hmm. As if she yeah. goes into me, but mm -hmm. she actually takes away my uh, sorrows and my it's just a little thing left, mm -hmm. a little pain in my chest. Mm -hmm. The rest, mm -hmm. she's take that, she takes the rest. Mm -hmm. I connected it then, solar plexus somehow, do you? Mm -hmm. Let's take another deep breath. And it's completely. I would love to learn more about you. You can close that scene and I would like you to go to another important day in that life. The day that you consider important. I'm seven. Mm -hmm. I'm seven. I'm a little girl. Tell me everything that you see as you see it, just like a movie. I see myself as if I'm looking at myself. Again, I have this blue dress, very beautiful, oh, beautiful, beautiful color. Again, everything is very bright. I don't know why this, I can't see anything, but oh, I see that bright light. Mm -hmm. I see that bright light. It's telling me something. Mm -hmm. it's, it's beautiful, it's huge love. Big mother. Yes, like a big mother, like a motherly energy, like mm -hmm. so much love. Mm -hmm. I'm Con sitting there and I'm, wow. Oh. Connect with it, connect with it telepathically. You can feel that. It feels a bit like this Mother Mary figure. Mm -hmm. Connect with it now and tell me what do you hear. What does it tell you? She's conveying peace, confidence, some kind of knowing something mm -hmm. as a message. Uh, this energy or this being wants me to know that I'm safe, although I'm really young. It may all be very scary for me, but I'm totally safe because she's always around. She wants me to remember this. She wants me to remember this fact all the time when I'm living my life, I shall always remember this. So whenever there are fearful moments, she wants me to remember this moment where she appears to me. Like the whole place, I was alone, that was what it was. I was alone in the house for some reason. And I was fearful because noises around the house and it felt very threatening. I felt like a huge, big, darkish kind of energy as if it was embracing the house and was threatening me. So she appeared. She appeared and she beamed that bright light as if there's a being and it opens the heart space, the heart mm -hmm. chakra. Mm -hmm. and beams out that light and it also has that blue so I don't know if the blue is like our band of our link our connection but 
it's a similar blue and it's very soothing. It's really, oh, it's gorgeous. It's awesome. I feel good. Mm -hmm. I feel good and I, the fear is gone. I know this energy is still there. This energy that made me so fearful. But I feel strong and able. Mm -hmm. And I want to do it, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but I want to do this. And I can do this. Mm -hmm. I, I can do this, yes. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what it is, but it's, I know it and I have to laugh even. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Take another deep breath and connect with this energy. Is it still there now? Yes. Wonderful. Ask this energy again, does it have any names that you'd like to be called? See so if we can connect with that now. Blue Angel comes to mind. Blue Angel, wonderful. Ask the Blue Angel if you would allow me to speak with him directly. Yes. Thank you. Connect with this energy and just be the voice for it. Good evening. Thank you for coming forward, Blue Angel. I wanted to ask you if you have any message for B today. Yes. Tell me. I am, I am the Blue Angel that has always, always been there since her incarnations have started. Mm -hmm. She loves blue, she has always loved blue. And there's times where she totally forgets I'm here. Mm -hmm. And I remind her, I beam light, I beam, yeah, beam warmth, confidence, but sometimes she doesn't get it. Mm, thank you so much for being there for her and shining your light and your help. What else would you like to share with her today? She's so close to reuniting with me because she's an aspect of me uh, it's nearly as if she keeps the boundaries of separation that separation that illusion she keeps it she keeps it although she says she doesn't want to keep it she wants she wants to know why and how and all this. She keeps that. It's like a line, a boundary, a small little line. Mm -hmm. it's a, she's so close to to melt back into who she is, mm -hmm. which is in the end me. Mm -hmm. And I am an aspect of something bigger than what I'm expressing right now. Mm -hmm. But when she when she expands back into what the two of us will be together, mm -hmm. she will may have done the she she will have done the big step to to realize a lot of things and the process of getting there will actually involve a lot of blue lights. Mm. We are from this collective. Um, Tell me about your collective. We seem to appear in our life um, as the blue 
orbs that Maria often sees around her. Maria tells her about it often. And we, collective of blue beings we are. Mm -hmm. um, Very good, very nice. So you mentioned that it's involving a lot of blue light, the process. Can you elaborate about the process? Uh, she has to allow from her heart space that this light can emerge out from her heart space. It will kind of bubble out from there. Mm -hmm. I think she, I think she's fearful of doing this because she tried it before and something happened. I don't mm -hmm. know what, but it, something happened. Mm -hmm. A sensation or something. Uh, mm -hmm. You can learn about that later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she only has to allow this to happen. It's, it will bubble out. It's, it's like bluish white bubbly energy. Mm -hmm. And it will bubble from her heart and then what will happen? It will connect her with us, mm -hmm. like she will feel part of us. She will feel the reunion with us again, because that's partly where she comes from. Yeah. Partly only. Yeah. Um, but it's an important part. Um, she probably she feels it now very strongly in her body, like between her chakra and her hip area is a big, big space. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a a treasure box where she keeps this. Mm -hmm. blue white energy that she is yeah yes she keeps it there mm -hmm. and the lid is on mm -hmm. but the light wants to come out so it shines out partly it's actually the pictures you were seeing in that live in that holland mm -hmm. uh, in holland there were a lot of oh, it's actually their traditional dresses, they wear a lot of blue and white, and that's why the picture came. So that's the metaphor for it. Mm -hmm. So the light runs out more, This and so that's why she can only see part of the physicalness in that life, yeah. because the rest is already the higher vibrational energy. Mm -hmm. Now the problem is, and it is in this lifetime also, and it's in many lifetimes, it's probably a general thing that um, the ability to feel the kind of very low vibration of the third dimension and at the same time experience the higher vibrational beingness of, of the person that has incarnated. So it's a kind of a floating process. And in order to experience this, the being that chooses that body kind of keeps the boundaries so that it can actually experience this life fully. Mm -hmm. Now, when you want to step out of this because you want to, to, to do something that is, um, they call miracles or impossible mm -hmm. in the human life. You can actually, actually, so to say, lift the lid 
from this treasure box or she could do that mm -hmm. and you can do the magic like this the fear sometimes is funny fear that you can't step back into that denseness of your third mm -hmm. dimension of being mm -hmm. so uh, it's kind of walking a very fine line. You want to experience third dimensionality. Mm -hmm. And you also are here to actually do the work. A huge, big, big job. And you know it and you feel it. And if you step too far outside using the uh, higher vibrations you may not find the balance back into mm. that current life but mm. why is that scary i don't know mm. <laughs> but it is i understand mm -hmm. it is it's kind of as if you're do the balancing act on some kind of rope high up in the sky and you may fall down uh, and miss out on the experience somehow. Mm. Something like that. Okay, beautiful. I can understand that, that changing your experience as a human is a scary thing. So, you said that it's time to start open this lid and to allow this light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderful. Good. Is there any way you can help her do that? You can do it now. Let's do that. How would you like to do that? It's as easy as just click the lid open. Let's do that now. Yes. Flips open and. It releases, wow, like oh, it's uh, wow, it's limitless space, mm -hmm. limitless space that she feels, experiences is in her human body as limited space in the area of the first three chakras. Mm -hmm. uh, it's as if the three chakras are combined mm -hmm. into one big, powerful area of creation, mm -hmm. power center, so to say. Gorgeous feeling, actually a wonderful feeling. Wonderful. It's uh, awesome, it's wholesome, it's the white. Uh, it's like floating in, in creation in a, in a limitless space which everything can be created. Wow. Everything. How will that affect her now? When this oh, it will, oh God, it will, uh, it will blow her mind first. It will, it will help her, it will help her with all her projects because she has released she has released that fear that she may not be able to experience humanness. I don't know. It seems to be very important to her to be human. To be human. Mm -hmm. Although she does want to be, <laughs> she doesn't want to be at the same time. Yeah. Um, but she doesn't want to be because 
off a lot of judgments and limitations that she sees in the world and she doesn't like it. She loves, she loves her freedom. She loves her freedom. Whatever freedom she can get, she actually grabs. Mm. And that's why she doesn't like to be human. She wants to, to burst all the boundaries and burst it all open. But at the same time, she really loves and cherishes this experience, especially this current one. She loves this current one because um, she very consciously steps into her power. She has worked very, very hard to be who she is in a step-by-step -step process, and she really loves the process. Mm. She's been very tired in between, and that's when she actually wanted to escape and to go and to finish. I was hoping that would finish soon because she was so tired. Yeah. But the process is something she really likes, and she often says that, I love the process of whatever it is. So she likes work. She likes to work, whatever it is, because she loves processes. Mm -hmm. So, she will love the process of um, so to say, diving into this space that has been opened now. A big creative Mm -hmm. pool, it's like a pool, like a swimming pool, like a mm -hmm. uh, gorgeous big thing. And she will actually find now what she was always looking for. She will find the people, the locations where she can do what she wants to do and needs to do. What she came here for. There's something in her throat she has to clear. Mm -hmm. Can we do that today? Yes, we have to do it. Wonderful. Yes, we have to do it. Mm -hmm. It's actually connected to something, and she has seen that in her meditations mm -hmm. to a point in her solar plexus and even in the other chakra below the navel. There's something. So that's related. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's to be released because it's time. Mm -hmm. It's really time and uh, it's a celebration to release it. It's, yes, it's celebration. It's wonderful. Yeah, we, oh, we feel huge love. We feel huge love. This, it's, it's a being, it's something that is there that, Volunteer to be there to block block things. Yeah, and um, we are we're singing in a heart space now, and our heart space is singing, mm. and the being is singing because it really took the space for as long as it was needed yeah. to sit there, and it's all done in deepest love. And, and she knows it, she knows yeah. it. She's celebrating with us now. It's, um, it's actually fading and... Can we connect with that being to allow her to express herself? Or um, yes. Let's bring her up, 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 bring this energy up, 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 up. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's good to be here. So good to be here. Yeah, thank you. I was down there so long, so yeah. long. How long have you been there? Oh, forever, forever, for Ian's. Ah, oh, I don't. So forever. I have you volunteered to be there. Why is that? We wanted her to help. I wanted to help her. We're good friends. We're. 
she wanted to experience that limitation. And we created this, we actually, uh, we were sitting together and we were thinking how we could constrict the flow of energies between the two points best. And we were joking and I said, I could come with you and I could sit there and I could actually hold those deep two ends kind of knotted together mm -hmm. in a way and watch. Mm -hmm. And we thought it was funny, but it was, <laughs> it was taking much longer than we thought. Mm -hmm. So I could watch her. I wanted to be with her. Yeah. I could I could watch from, from very close. I could watch this incarnation because I wasn't going to take a body. Yeah. What may I call you? I a it's a we can hear somebody calling your cosmic name. I Okay. It's an A and something very sunny behind it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very nice. A oh. sun, A sun, something like that? Mm -hmm. A sun? A sun, yeah. Mm -hmm. A sun sounds. A sun, yes, A sun. A sun. Yeah. Wonderful, A sun. So thank you for coming forward. I'm so happy to speak with you. I would want you to go back in time to the time when you made this agreement. Mm -hmm. I want you to go back to be there now. And I want you to look around you and to describe what is happening there, who is there with you when you're making this agreement. And, and tell me about that day, about that time. Uh. This is a space that's very different from, from like the earthly plane. Mm -hmm. It's um, all white and it's energies, more or less. It's consciousness, it's, it's, it's hard to find words. It's like, it's as if when you look at your sky, and you see these clouds and they're just moving around and they're fading in and out of being clouds. This is who we were, mm. who we are. We're just floating around and having fun and we're, we, we're beings, we're being. And that's why she's chosen also her name for this time she calls herself be like be mm -hmm. like being and that's what we what we were then mm -hmm. and we did we wanted to do something and we had heard the call from this planet mm -hmm. and she decided to go. Mm -hmm. Where have you been when you heard this call? Up high. In the... It's consciousness only. Mm -hmm. It's... Mm -hmm. I, I hear 12. Mm -hmm. Maybe dimension 12 or something. Mm -hmm. I see. It's where... It, it's where all the possibilities are. Mm -hmm. But there's some kind of separation already. It's not in the oneness, yeah. but it's very close to oneness. Mm -hmm. But everything is possible. So, and it's very light, it's very um, fluffy, so to say. It's floating, being, it's sound and uh, light, so to say. Mm -hmm. 
when there's the desire to experience and create and in that consciousness and state of mind or there's this kind of we perceive everything in love and we want to experience more and we realize that when we split off we we create something new Mm -hmm. But it's not really new. It's just like tuning into something. Mm -hmm. And as if you would, let's say, do a meditation and decide to go into your stomach and experience every little bit of it, go into all the crevices and experience how it feels and the sounds and everything. So that's kind of what we do. We look for, we look for spaces to create and then we go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into it and we split off more and more and more and more. That's who we are. Mm. Beautiful. So how did you help? be from within her? Um, it's good. It's really good. Um, so, in the physicalness, in the being a human, the real fun starts when you, when you're very restricted, when you Um, when you are you're in restricted in in your sensory experiences, so to say. So I would I would actually make sure that the the chakras, the five chakras, one, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm would not have free flow Mm. because normally the chakras uh, would have access through the crown chakra to the divine and then it would all the way flow all the way down now you cannot restrict it fully because you would kill parts of of the being but you can restrict it as much as possible and then this being feels very separate from many things and it starts what you would call suffering Mm. and um, so there's a lot of um, searchings and uh, it's like for a human being like uh, to explain it to you it's like you're blindfolded or nearly blindfolded you can see some things in the room but you need your hands always to to feel it out and think what is it and why don't I get any further? Why don't I find this? Why don't I find that? So I helped her to restrict the flow so that she didn't realize most of the times anymore that she was part of God's creation of of everything. Mm -hmm. She could feel really, really well all these emotions, anger, frustration, joy. Well, there's not much joy, but, you know, humans don't feel much joy. They have loads of very strong, deep emotions like uh, pain, physical pain, emotional pain. So I could actually pull the strings closer mm-hmm. to help her feel more pain. Mm. So that's what I did. Hmm. Wonderful. I did a great job. Oh, 
I did a great <laughs> job. I helped her. Oh my gosh, I did great. Mm. I'm delighted. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for all your help. What do you imagine that you would feel without you? Without me now? Yeah. Without you restricting her. Oh. Um, because she's, she's aware now of the process that we are talking and of the process of what you call ascension, which mm -hmm. is just reconnecting to certain levels of consciousness. Yeah. She she will be able to to handle the process a little bit better now. The time is now really because if she had done this earlier or had put out the request, it would have been like you know when you do bungee jumping, yeah. it, it's really tough. Like it's pulling you and pushing you, and it's an emotional and psychological roller coaster. So now it will be a much more cushioned process, so to say. She will. She will actually celebrate that process. She will know what has happened. She has asked for it. She's been waiting for you guys to come. She didn't know that you were the ones to help her, but she kind of knew that big things were going to happen this time around. Yeah. So she's going to celebrate. She's going to be a very, very, very happy person. Mm -hmm. She will kind of dance around as she did as a child. She often does it now already because she could feel more. I actually did help her. I did loosen, so to say, the knot, you know, the two mm -hmm. ends of that kind of um, band that mm -hmm. I put in. So she could feel more and more. And while she did, she was dancing like she was really reconnecting a lot with her inner child. And with connecting with her inner child, she was able to touch many, many people. And um, being like a real child, like she's never been in her life even. Yeah. She was at a child sometimes, you know, when there was no adults around. She was, she was running in, in the meadows and dancing and swirling and she had beautiful friends. And now she's going to do that again. Oh. She's going to be very playful. She's always been a very serious person. Although she could laugh a lot, but she was very serious for, you know, you know the reasons. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, but she will, she will do, she will actually dance through life now. And mm. she, all her things, even the money stuff, that will all disappear because it was all related. And it had to be. It had to be because she wasn't, she wasn't able to handle this. I know she will, she will ask herself later, why was I not? I was so mature. No, you were not. You were not. So it will be a love. It, it will be a dance. Mm. It will be a dance and she will, <sighs> she will ignite hearts. She will ignite hearts of many people. Mm -hmm. Without words and with words. Mm. It's so beautiful. Mm. Thank you so much for sharing with me. We did a great job. Yeah. Oh, it was fabulous. Mm. Very beautiful. Asan, yes, I am Asan. Asan. Yes, yeah, I was just about to ask you again. Aysan. Aysan. I feel like Aysan, you're already in my mind already. So I'd like to ask you if there's anything else would you like to share with us at this point? Yes, maybe a, a message, a message to, to everyone that really, really is on the journey of awakening that wants it, that does it, that does the doing, just to remind you that whatever you go through and the restrictions that you have overcome and the restrictions that you still have, 
you created them and you created them out of love when you came from a place that is the place of creation that's God's source and you have chosen every single bit of it because you wanted to make it a success a success in terms of um, feeding back as many experiences as possible to the source to where you came from. And we want to tell you that you are celebrating on a higher level of existence that you are at the same time while you are in the body. You're celebrating every single bit. It may sound very weird to you now that the pain that you may be experiencing or the hardships that you're celebrating them, but you do. Mm. You do because this is only a game, a beautiful game. It's played out of uh, love because the source of everything is love. Mm -hmm. And it cannot um, fully experience the laugh and make it bigger, so to say, and make it a firework even brighter and brighter when it hasn't experienced the restrictions that come uh, at the other end of it, so to say. Mm -hmm. So you all have done this, and your essential process is only possible mm -hmm. because you have, on some level, understood that you created the restriction. Mm. We call it, or you call it, and on many levels it's called, on many levels it's called dark forces. Yes, they are dark, but they are also part of creation. And they play the part out of love also. Mm. Sounds weird, but it is true. Mm. So celebrate whatever it is. Celebrate it. And now that everything is love and you are loved. And we say thank you to you that you are here right now doing this work with us. Mm -hmm. We love you. We love you so much. Mm -hmm. We hug you. We kiss you. We are very aware of everyone that's connected to this very act that you are doing on a physical level that's called a human being laid down on the bed talking to another human being sitting beside this person we can see all the connections and it's so beautiful mm -hmm. it's unbelievably beautiful mm. i wanted to ask you you're probably also an aspect of a bigger a bigger being yeah can you share with me what aspect, what being, what aspect are you, of who, of what? Can you connect with your source? And establish the connecting to the source again, collapse the distance between you and the source, remove the ceiling, and establish the minus. The aspect is sun, mm -hmm. is light. Mm -hmm. It's this is in the end, it's always oneness. Um, and it doesn't have the name. Mm -hmm. But the, the next aspect of what I perceive to be mm -hmm. a son, the, the one that I come from, mm -hmm. feels sun. Mm -hmm. Sun rays, like the rays of sun, beautiful uh, colors. It's different colors. It's like a prisma. Mm -hmm. There's no word. There's no. 
Uh, I think sun saves it the best. Yeah. Because then even above that is is a level, but that goes that goes more into nearly close, you know, very close to, to union, to fusion with the the whole thing, the, mm -hmm. the oneness. That's where everything starts, that where everything ends. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you know, there's no end, there's no beginning, there's only constant sparking of energy mm -hmm. and a sun is <clears throat> sparked out of that pool yeah has sparked out into rays of sun so when we sparked out mm -hmm. it was initially one spark poof going out and the moment it goes out and is a ray, it's us, it's many, it's yeah. several. So <clears throat> it's beautiful, it's very beautiful. We we look at each other and we love each other and we see each other and we see ourselves and the others that have sparked out. Like that one ray mm -hmm. is already many, many levels, many, many little rays. And then when we feel like we want to have a different experience, that's when we sparked out again. It's like really arcing out like sparks going from one thing to the next. And that's where a sun was created. Mm. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. So we sparked out and it was a sun and it was many others. So. Mm -hmm. Then identification starts in terms of kind of name giving. Mm -hmm. So because we we get more and more and more, so to say, yeah. and then we, we spread out more and more and more and more, and all the experiences need labels, so to say, so mm -hmm. that we can communicate because we're all rays, we're all sparks of something, and we want to communicate back with one another. So I. I can be called a son, and then I will know, oh, she wants to talk to a son. Mm -hmm. she, she wants to talk to Solar. Mm -hmm. She calls out to Solar, and she feeds back to this one, and this one feeds back to her some very special information if that's needed. Mm -hmm. What the aspect that B is? Um, She's actually, is, is that solar? Yeah, solar is the aspect. It seems to me when we sparked out from, you know, from the oneness into mm -hmm. that ray, that we were two rays close to one another, mm -hmm. a sun and solar, so to say. So we sparked out together somewhere. Something like that. Mm -hmm. And so we felt a kind of a closeness, like siblings, so to say. Mm -hmm. So when you have siblings in a family and you may feel very close to one of them, that's kind of what we are. Yeah. Solar. It's like soul. If you would spell it. How would you spell it? It would, it would be spelled like an S-O-L, but the S and... It's like sun rays going out, like how you how you often draw a sun, like loads of rays going out from the S, radiating out, and O is like a ball of light, and then there is the L, and this R looks different. It's very hard to put that into words. It's like um, as if you have a prisma of light where you have loads of little um, mm, geometrical uh, geometrical spots that also have rainbow colors. 
it's hard to express. Yeah, we would have to draw it somehow. Okay. Yes. Maybe you can bring it to her memory when she yes. is really coming up. Maybe she could draw this special yes. art. It would be it would be a bit of work <laughs> yet to do. Yeah, but it's to remind her that yeah. image. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. That's that's who she is. She's my sister, so to say, or brother, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, there. So the two of us, we had this idea and oh God, we did a great job. Good job, you guys. Thank you so much for sharing with me. It's wonderful. So would you be her guide now when you're leaving her body? Would you help her with her ascension process? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Very, yes. How could she connect with you when she is not in that state right now? How would you um, we would probably best set a reminder. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, a little, like a little bubble in her heart mm -hmm. with, with my name, a son. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, okay. I think that would do. So she will actually access this in her meditations. <clears throat> and yes, and I will actually sparkle quite a bit because I'm very excited about this process. Mm -hmm. What are you excited about? Um, it's the process as such, mm -hmm. and it's the very, it's so unpredictable what's going to happen. Like, I know, I know she always wants to know some stuff, and yes, we know she has learned a little bit to, to allow flow. She's quite good at that old idea, but um, there's, there's no predictions that can be made because... Um, the process of ascension is not just an individual process. It, in a way it is, but in a way it isn't. Um, and I'm very excited to see how she's going to connect on that level, being a third dimensional being, um, listening to the higher part of herself and how she's going to transition into the next aspect of herself. Yeah. That's that's the exciting part for me. It's obviously exciting for her probably as well. Yeah. But for me, now that I'm in her heart space, like I'm a close again, you know, I don't have to leave. I don't have to go back onto the cloud, so to say. I can actually stay with her, which is, for, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would it be better for you to be out of her body to help her from the outside? Yes. Yeah, would it be? Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. So let's go up, up, up from the top of the head and I'm going to ask one of the angels to be with you there. Go all the way up, 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 up and tell me when you're there. Collect all your essence, tell me that you're all gathered. Take some time. Yeah, it's okay. You can take a gather, gather yourself, all your aspects mm -hmm. and all your influence of your body. Yeah. Are you all gathered? Not yet. Not yet, thank you. Some aspects have actually merged really uh, into quite a solid uh, connection there. So yeah. they need to be removed very gently. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to invite also any light beings that want to assist us in that Thank process. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Let's invite Raphael as well, Archangel Michael. And any light beings that want to assist us in this process now. Yeah. May I speak with the higher self of me, please? Do I have the permission to speak with the yeah. higher self? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for coming forward. 
And thank you for allowing this healing that you're allowing now. How many light beings are here to assist us? Oh, many. Yeah. Many. Tell me what is happening as it happens. Um, the whole main side, so to say, main chakras. It's, it's like a sun is working there. Mm -hmm. And there is this something like one very bright spark. I see that. I don't actually know what it is. Mm -hmm. It's probably the original spark of who everyone is when they incarnate, you know. Mm -hmm. when, um, it's so bright I can hardly see. Mm -hmm. It's warm. It's Absolutely, uh, how will I say that? It's like, uh, can you sit comfortably mm -hmm. in an armchair, enjoying something? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you feel as if you sit in a, in a cozy room. It, it's like a perfect situation. It's, yeah, it's perfect. That's what it is. It's. Hollies as it should be, and is it, yeah, Good. As mm. it should be, yes, yes, very yes. yeah. May I speak to Essen? Hi, hi, thank you. How's the process of your I'm detaching? Gone. I'm gone, I'm gone. Yeah. I yeah. Where are you now? Um it's feeling like um two or three levels up. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. Okay. Watching watching from above. Watching from above. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Is there any light beings that assist you to move up? Um did you meet anyone? Some I did, but um, I also I also concentrated on the moving up, and I um, I saw the light beings coming in, and let them work on on the rest of the parts that I had fused into her chakras because mm -hmm. I noticed that it would take much longer if I would do it. Yeah. So I just tried to to pull my own essence out as much as I could. Wonderful. Um, yeah. Very good. So now I'd like you to maybe assist from the light. Let's move all the way up, 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 up until you reach into the light. Yes. You're there? Yes. Wonderful. Look all around you. Can you describe what you see there? Is there anything that you can see? I'm, I'm back in that space of limitless opportunities. Yeah, I'm there, mm -hmm. and it's kind of neutral. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can send now the light from that place into her body. Okay. And help with the healing process of where you've been before to detach all your essence. Okay. Would you do that? Yes. Thank you. Tell me when that's been done and what's happening as it happens. I'm sending now lovingly the light of the light of 
all there is of God. And this kind of, I say, rough parts within the energy body. Mm -hmm. So I'm sending down that light to, to heal this, to make it smooth, to make it heal. Mm -hmm. I have to go further down. And the, the chakras have to be re-established, so to say, mm -hmm. you know, so that they look like a wheel again. Mm -hmm. And then the connection between them from one to the next one. Um, that's right. Still some work needed on them. Throat chakra. Yeah. Um, there's something like a, a hook or something. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Find out. I was just thinking about that too. Yeah. Um, it's weird. It's... Mm -hmm. I'll check with the higher self. Yeah. I'll... I'll Okay. Thank you so much. So please continue the work while we're doing the session and maybe later on we'll have another chat with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for all the help and information. May the light of the universe will be with you always. Let's take another deep breath. Double the relaxation. Allow the energy in the world. Wonderful. May I speak with the higher self, please? Yes. Thank you. Please establish the connection to source. Collapse any distance between her and the source. Remove the ceiling. Establish the oneness. Her oneness. We start the repair and the upgrade for the blueprint and the templates, installing new systems for her ascension. Okay. Thank you. Dissolve programs and beliefs that are not longer serving her. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be a lot of work done. You can take the time to do that as I'm mm -hmm. giving the information. Please download the beliefs and the programs and the gifts and the abilities to support our ascension process. Collapse timelines that no longer serving her or the collective. And attune this body to the highest vibrational energies to be used for her personal and the collective healing. Okay. Tell me what's been done from all my requests. It's quite a big job. Yeah. Uh, seems the timelines seem to be a big job. Uh, Thank you so much, though, for doing it. Uh, Timelines is, is, uh, is work, all of them are worked on but at the same time. Mm -hmm. Take the time to work mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. <sighs>
blueprint tries to come back in. Mm -hmm. Very good. There's any energies through the body that need to be released right now. Mm. Do this body scan release any energies from past life? She needs to go into the bathroom. Mm -hmm. sure. Let's do that and then we'll be able to continue the work. So while she goes to the toilet, to the bathroom, she'll be able to stay in the trance when she comes back. She'll go right back to where we stop. I'm going to count to two or three and then touch the shoulder and that you'll be able to open your eyes and walk safely to the restroom when you come back. I'll touch the shoulder again and you'll be back into trance. Mm. One, energy is coming back up. Two, three, can open your eyes now. Very good. And you can go into the restroom very good. So beautiful. Mm. Very good. Tell me if you need any help. Mm. You're back deep down into deep, deep relaxation. Take another deep breath. And go right back into deep trance. Slowing down deeper and deeper. Fully relaxed, deep sleep. Deep, deep. <sighs> Wonderful. Mm. May I speak with the subconscious, please? Yes. Thank you so much for coming forward again. Let's do a body scan and tell me what do you find. Left eye. Mm -hmm. What do you find there? There's some shadow. Mm -hmm. When did that been created and what created it? Pre-birth. Mm -hmm. Shock. Mm -hmm. What was happening then? Something happened to her mother. Mm -hmm. Belief system, trust issue. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think that's what it is. I see. You can speak a little louder so I can hear you. But... It's uh, some belief system was shattered or established. Trust issues with her, with her mother. Mm -hmm. I see. What type of um, programming and belief is that? Now I've got to do all this by myself. The belief system. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, it's time to remove that. Yeah. Okay. We can release that now. Fall in completely. Tell me when it's all gone.
takes time because it is an ancestral belief system and it sits there for long. Yeah, I understand. So mm -hmm. she took it on to heal it. Mm -hmm. We're doing it now. Yes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. How did that been created in the ancestry line? And was, I see a loss of an eye, literally. Mm -hmm. um, as if the one eye said it, once the other eye was gone. Mm. Mm. It's going back very far, it's going back to the um, times of hunting food, like from the caves, these cave people. Uh -huh. So when one eye is gone, it's so precious, if that happens another time. So the one eye is very, very much needed. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that I was only function, but that belief system grew into the, the genetic material as to I have to, to do this all by myself. Mm -hmm. So it shapes into something different, morphs mm -hmm. into something different. Mm -hmm. And we will start the healing from the root to, to all timelines. Yes. Thank you. Throw back the belief over there and hear this. Yeah, I think it's done, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. Let's put some extra light here in the eye and this vessel. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Continue the body scan. What else do I find? There is something in the throat. Yeah. It's more on her right side. Mm -hmm. And something like just, mm. when that being created and hooked into this body. Like a parasite, mm -hmm. a parasite. parasite. Would you like me to communicate with it? Maybe. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. Let's connect with this energy and bring it up forward, up, 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 so it could express itself. Good evening. Mm. Hi. Mm. Hi. Oh. What may I call you? Oh. What type of energy? Oh. Are you male or female? Oh. How long have you been there? Long. Long time? Oh. Do you feel nice there or you would... Not really. No, 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 not really. It's, it's, it's not a good place to be no longer. Right? Okay. How did you enter this body? I was, I was placed there. You placed there by who? I was someone made me go there. Mm -hmm. Someone said to go there. Mm -hmm. Who was that? It was a man. He didn't like the person. Mm -hmm. 
How did it do that? A curse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. What would he ask you to do while you're there? To sit there and be a nuisance and be a pain mm. and so cause all kind of stuff. Mm. What kind of stuff have like you created? Making, <clears throat> like not allowing her to speak or feeling uncomfortable while speaking or thinking again of if she wants to speak at all and also you know there's um, health issues so operations were needed this mm. kind of stuff oh. i don't like it really no i don't yeah. i don't yeah but your place there yeah yeah i understand okay i'm here to help you would you like me to help you yeah, to go yeah, to yeah. somewhere else yeah, wonderful. Really. wonderful okay so now you can go up 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 from the top of the head and i want you to gather all your essence and everything all your parts okay are you all gathered not yet totally. thank you Yeah. Very good. Now you go up, up, up from the top of the head. Yeah. Tell me what do you see as you go out? Who is there waiting for you? I see light. You see light? Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, I see light. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Let's go all the way up, 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 up until the bright light. Then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Bye. Can you just send some light from the light into where okay. the place where you've been before? Okay, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Sorry, sorry about all that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now I'd like B to ask to just release you completely. B, do you yeah. like to tell him anything? It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Very good. Uh, yeah, light is there. It's all yeah. good. Okay. Oh, good, yeah. Okay. So now you're free to go. Thank you. May the light of the universe will be with you always. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. May I speak with the higher self, please? Yes. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Can you take a try from the throat? Tell me what. That's good. Mm -hmm. It's good now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you send some more light over there? Yes, it's needed and it's needed for. Maybe in the next few days okay. to do so, yeah. Would you do that every night? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Let's continue the body scan. Mm -hmm. What else do you find? Left shoulder. What's going on there? Um, in the bone, it looks like an old injury. It's like a dot in the shoulder. It... When did that happen? That's generational, that's not mm, from other not, lifetimes. Yeah, yeah, it's not hers. It's not hers. No, it? but it's the energy sits there mm -hmm. limiting limiting not badly, like not in daily life, but yeah. certain areas, yeah. It's kind of a shadowy energy. Mm -hmm. um, a scar thing, but you know, a scar that's not fully healed, something yeah. like that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Can mm. you go to the timeline that it's been created, please? Yeah. Thank you. What happened there? A spear was thrown at this shoulder. I see. It mm -hmm. healed, but it's as if some poisonous part or whatever was there, when like was, a splinter. When that been created? It was a fight. Um, not, it was kind of um, Middle Ages, kind of um, these fights between knights. 
and someone was throwing a spear during, was it a tournament or a No, it was a training session. Two people were training and someone was throwing it from the back. Um. Someone was angry and wanted to hurt this person. Mm. And that's what happened. Was it her in a past life or someone else? Let me see. Yeah, I think it was her. As a pen. Was she the one throwing it or the one that received that it? Received it, received yeah. it, received mm -hmm. it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the other one was, it was some kind of, I think it was about women. Um, mm. The other one felt rejected by the woman that chose him, something. Mm. He didn't really want to kill her or something, but just was so angry, so disappointed, so. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's. Okay. But it was the main thing now is that the what's it called the thought thought form the the energetic imprint. Yes, that's the thing that's that's there. So it was the thought behind it was if if this man had been more imperfect. She would have chosen me, and so he he kind of wanted to reverse that process, so to say, mm -hmm. hurt him physically, and at the same time, wishing imperfection to this man, mm. so to say. And this went into the genetic line. Mm. Why was it going into the genetic line? Why does bad processes carry on for this life? Because this was actually desired by that person who was injured mm -hmm. because that was bringing in some experiences for himself and those incarnating with the material could actually experience in limitations, pains and also actually I also actually learn that imperfections actually have nothing to do with true love. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's that was the main part actually as well. Mm. Like next to the physical impairments. Yeah. 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 What? So love would always be there, like someone could have lost the arm. The woman would still be be drawn to this man and would love him and would marry and would have children. Yeah. So they could have that experience. Yeah. So they choose to have that. Um, so that's why she chose to take it on herself this life. Yeah, she. Yes. Yes. Is she really ready to let it go? Yeah, okay, she is. Very good. Yes. Okay, okay. So let's remove it now, please. Mm -hmm. Send it back into the light for her. It's gone. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Things contain the body scan, let's see what else. Here's the right hip. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? The bone doesn't sit right. Mm. The bone doesn't sit right. Um, not fully, let's say, not perfect in that sense, that it allows the perfect movement. So it will cause over time certain maybe pain sometimes or also it doesn't allow certain positions while doing certain exercises like yoga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what caused that? It's a deformation. Um, I think it happened during birth, you know, when babies pass through, they sometimes twist 
uh, in turn. Mm -hmm. But of course, it's chosen. Why was that chosen? Let's go back to the time that that been chosen. Up, 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 going back to that time. Be there now. Think around it. And it's it. again, it's again not to be perfect. It's not to be perfect. Um, so she, she would at some stage in her life discover that there is something that's called yoga. She would see other people doing those positions perfectly and she wouldn't be able to do it perfectly because it just is not possible to mm -hmm. get the bones and, and the leg in the position. And she wanted to learn again that you could still do these exercises even though you could never do it perfectly. Mm. So she wanted it. Yeah. And she, she's chosen several of these things. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that she chose like that? Um, yeah, I mean, the eye was already, we saw that. Mm -hmm. Um, she chose also um, issues with her thyroid, which is also related to that virus, mm -hmm. and um, it would cause her problems with weight mm -hmm. and so forth, issues related to that. Mm -hmm. So she made sure on many levels mm -hmm. to have issues with perfection. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of, yeah, perfection, of course, yeah. perfection. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was in the end to be able to... Um, love, imperfection, express God in imperfection. Mm -hmm. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. So uh, it cannot be fully rectified quickly. Yeah. Um, Can you download a new blueprint for the body to work okay. with that yeah. will assist in the new desired, yeah. harmonized, perfection yeah. body that you have of desire? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you're doing as you do it. Just keep accessing God's source, requesting mm -hmm. a blueprint for a perfect alignment of this body part and yeah, this body part. Wonderful. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's coming. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Let's continue the body scan. What else? The knees are quite weak, both of them. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I hear bending. Mm. Can you elaborate about that? There were issues of bending, like in terms of obedience, uh, so to say, ego issues, mm. but they're also, um, there's also this thing that she, um, she has problems with uh, gluten, mm. uh, when she eats it, she has, she, she noticed that in her, in her knees, mm. 
So there's a weakness for different reasons. But the bending was like pride. Pride is the issue where it was. But it was only, it was only the rest of pride which she carried in a different lifetime. Mm. Where she was very proud. And she was sure this lifetime she had this kind of um what's it called? She was going to have to deal with a lot of perfection because of the location and family she chose. And accepting that perfection and imperfection. So both of it. Mm. Because she had to accept, learn to accept that perfection was asked of her. And she already wanted to be perfect, of course. But then she had to learn that imperfection is actually the normal and that imperfection is okay and beautiful. Mm -hmm. And so it was it was a struggle. It was not as bad as it had been before, but it was it was there to help to actually resolve that. Mm -hmm. What lifetime is that? Um as a woman. As a woman, she's very perfect. She um Oh yeah, she has she has these traits. She has lived these traits in her life. She wanted control over her life. She actually carried that over. This other woman that was 18th century. Everything had to be in order all the time. She had people in her household and they had to actually arrange everything like her things in certain orders and she could be very angry with them. Mm. Where was she living? In a France. In France. In a it was kind of a, it's a big house. Mm. How do people call her in that life? Madame, Madame to say to song, something like that. Madame to son, to something like yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. She was, she was, she was partly doing that because she couldn't stand it. She really would lose her her calm. Mm. And she also did it sometimes to actually annoy them. Mm. She liked it when they were when they were annoyed about her demanding this all the time. Mm -hmm. You know. Is there any imprint from that life that are not serving her anymore? No. Okay. No, she just the only. Is this kind of um, this kind of behavior she had for a very long time that she needed control over everything in her life? Mm. But she recently dropped that as well because she actually realized it. She realized that that is nonsense. Yeah. But she needed. She actually needed that for her life. Um, not as long as she was using it, but in in her earlier life with her family, it was actually really. Very valuable. Very good. Yeah, Beautiful. it was, and she actually lived it to the time that she could release it, and and she realized when she could release it, she um, part of this perf perfectionism that she carried through was uh, very useful for her to learn when to to drop it. Yeah, you know that was yeah. kind of an interesting thing. Wonderful. Yeah. So yeah, I can go. Okay. So the knee thing can go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's bring light into the knees. Yeah. Release that completely. 
Is there any chords? Ew. Anything. Any chords that are not serving her anymore? You do a scan to find if there are chords? Okay. Thank you. Uh, that are having an energy that is not beneficial for her. And the third eye. Mm -hmm. More like, yeah, it's as if something is winding around the forehead. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's unwind that. Yeah, it's that thing has a message. Okay, does it want to speak? I think we should ask. Okay, let's connect with that energy, please. Bring forward, pa pa pa. Allow it to express itself. Good evening. Uh, hi. 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 What may I call you? Do you have a name? Yeah. Do you have a message? For you? What are you doing there? Um. I have to be there because I need to make sure mm -hmm. she does not see. Yeah, hmm. if she does not see. I'll ask you to be there. I think she was. She was asking you? I think she uh -huh. was here. Yeah. When did she do that? Um, mm. She said, I don't want to see this. Mm. She said, let me think. She said, I don't want to see this. I wish I wouldn't see this. I wish someone would help me to not see this. Mm. Mm. What was she saying when she said that? Way too much. Way too much. Can you go back to that time for a moment? Let's learn what was happening then. Back to that time. Be there now. What was she saying? She could see it was not her like this woman. Mm. This woman, what was she seeing? She was seeing um, she could read other people, she could read things in her in their lives. She could mm. she could see them and she was she was telling them. But it wasn't good because you don't say things like that to people. Mm. And Think. She was giving information that they didn't ask to know. Yeah, she did that as well. Mm -hmm. And then I think they put her away. They took her away into a place where she couldn't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. So she didn't want that. Mm -hmm. But she was seeing things and she thought she shared this. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So you make sure not to to say them some things you shouldn't say. Mm. Rather not to see it. Mm. Rather not to see it. Okay. I so that. I did that. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your job. You did a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Mm. Good. 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 Mm. Okay. Then we check with the higher self. It's time to release you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you speak with the higher self? Yeah. Would you like to release that? Yes. Thank you. Okay. May I speak with that being again? Mm -hmm. Hi. 
Okay. I think the hires have released you from your job. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Gather all your essence, please. I have to unwind. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I also, yeah, it's a bit of work. Hold on. Yeah, take your time. Mm -hmm. How long have you been there? Long. Mm -hmm. Long and, um, yeah, I need to clean it all up. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you know the name of the woman that she was when she asked that? When she was in the other lifetime? I think Ariel, Ariella, something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where was it? Where? Mm -hmm. I hear what they call in Germany Thüringen. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. She was quite young and didn't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Didn't know. Yeah. Okay. Are you done? Mm. Very good. Now you can go up, up, up from the top of the head. I'm going to ask one of the light beings to assist you to go into the light. Are you there? Yes. Uh, yeah. Tell yeah. me what you're doing as you do it. Just pulling the... It's a long kind of string, you know, I'm string. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Okay. I'm up high. Mm -hmm. Somehow, there's energies of me left. Uh, I, can I ask for help? Yes. Okay, I would like help. Okay, wonderful. Would like to call Raphael to assist you. May I speak to Raphael, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, Raphael. Hi. Thank you. Would you assist us, please, with this healing process? Yes. Tell me what you're doing as you do it, please. It's um. It's like um, cleaning, wiping. Uh, it's like when you have a glass, mm -hmm. a mirror that's I've been clean for a long time, or a glass or window. Mm -hmm. So uh, to make it see through again, something like that. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, it's done. Then, mm, thank you. Would you help this aspect now to arrive the light? This, yeah. This string? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank you so much. But is there any more work on her body that you find? No. No. Mm -hmm. Does she look good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You look happy. Yeah, I am uh, happy, actually, very happy. Uh huh. Yeah. Is there. How's the aura look like? Is it sealed? Um, yeah. Yeah. Is there anything that's need to be done to make her energy or light body better? Uh, I would put another, like a swoosh <laughs> over. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The light of the universe will be with you. Thank you. Let's take another deep breath. May I speak with the higher self, please? Yeah. Thank you. Would you share with me your cosmic name? Sora, 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 Sora. Wonderful, thank you, Sora. Sora, wonderful. And yes, mm -hmm. wonderful. I'd like to make sure that any aspect of yourself within the body and with outside the body. 
are being healed and integrated in the best way. Can you check also outside of the body if there's anything need to be healed? Any aspect of being? I don't know, but it seems as if there is like a little splinter of something around the outside the aura. Mm -hmm. Let's learn about that splinter outside the aura. Who can give me more information about that? The splinter, I guess. Okay. Connect with the energy, please, and allow it to express itself. Bring it forward. Good evening. Hi. Hi. What are you doing there? I feel like... I feel like lost and... I feel like... I should be part of this. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I um, don't know where to go back in. Hmm. So you want to go back to the place where you serve the most and feel good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's, would you like to go back into the light? Good. Okay, so let's take you up, 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 back, back, back into the light. Go up from the top of the head. And I ask light beings to assist you. <sighs> Tell me when you're in the light. Mm -hmm. Look around you. Mm. Who is there waiting for you? <laughs> My mom. Your mom? Mm. Uh huh. How do you call her? What is her name? Just mom. Mm -hmm. Just mom. Just mom. Yeah. Good. Just mom. Okay, good. Give her a big hug. Mm. Good. Now you're free to go. Yeah. Very good. May I speak with the higher self, please, now? <coughs> yes. Good. Mm -hmm. Is there any other energies around, anywhere around, that would like to do the journey into the light? Could you yeah, check? there is. How many? There is, um, I can't describe it, there is an yeah. energy to her left, um, right at the middle of the body. Mm -hmm. In her body? No, it, around the area. Around outside. the area. Yeah, yeah. Okay, does I need to communicate with it or is ready to go? It's ask. ready to go, I think. Okay, let's ask the light beings to assist the journey now. Clear the space, assist the spirit <sighs> to go into the light. Gone, oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. I would like to ask if there's any more light beings in the area, in the land around us, in the house, or anywhere in the land around us that is ready to do the journey for the light. Oh, around us, yes, there's quite a few. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's do a clearing of the area, please. Mm -hmm. the, the area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clearing of the land of Ireland. Yeah. Let's make a big shuttle into the light. Yeah. How many is ready to go? Many. Good. Many. Good. And in gratitude. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very good. Yeah, it's very clear. Yeah. Thank you. I've been waiting outside the aura to, to, to get the help. Yeah. Yeah. Many went quick because it was time. Good. It was time. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for allowing that. We are pleased. Mm. Thank you. Mm. We're done. We're done? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else that important for me to experience today? No, but we want to express our gratitude to you for helping and for everyone who is present here, for helping this process. We are very grateful. Mm. Very grateful. 
Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Such a joy. Mm -hmm. Is there any questions that they had that are not answered yet that I can? Yeah, maybe the part about the Actorius. Yeah, I was just saying that now. Yeah, but I can't answer that. Okay. I can't answer that. Why not? It's not time or? I don't or should know. I ask someone? I actually else? don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so let's take another deep breath. It is complete. Let's take another deep breath. And I want to invite source energy to come into the body. Fill up the body. Tune up the body for the highest light. And invite the being that would like to express answers that regard the Octorius. May I invite the light being? I'm trying to. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, what may I call you? Ariel. Hi, Ariel. Uh, this question is uh, something to do with the future. So, so, it's kind of open what is going to happen as some kind of presence or work is an option for the future mm -hmm. and that's all and no need for information as there is none means there's no details they are yet okay because it has to do with the outcome of the ascension process and the experience gathered in that process mm. so it it is kind of a request from the area to maybe participate later in a project. Mm. That's all. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for that. Is, yeah. May I ask you a few more questions? Yeah. Thank you. She also wanted to know about you are important, the project and all that. If there's anything from that can make it more. If... Um, this has been answered before in the process of um, a son leaving, mm -hmm. that there's going to be flow. Okay. And yes, it is part of her impatience okay. that made her ask this okay. and the, the, the urge to be perfect. Mm. Yeah, everything is going to flow. 
there's no need to worry and no need to worry about perfections, imperfections, no need to worry about um, missing out on opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, there is more in each of being present, mm -hmm. celebrating whatever imperfection, delay, or whatever else. Yeah, the mm -hmm. all is perfect at the moment. Yeah. yeah. She also wanted to know about the diet, if there's anything she needs to do better. She knows that current ups and downs mm -hmm. are part of the process and she's doing quite well, but she will go into a different direction quite soon, which means a very light diet. She has several times encountered times where she didn't want to eat, but had to eat because the physical body demanded it and needed it. But she will live off more of li liquids very soon. Mm. So that's, but there's no worries about it because it's going to, to start naturally. Yeah. So is there anything that she's eating that she doesn't eat to it anymore? It, it, it will happen naturally as okay. well. She's actually following quite, quite well those lines of what's good or not good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that she can do better about her family? Anyone in her family or relationship that need to be healed in a better way? She knows that she has to work on the relationship to this woman. And she actually got the information already that, um, how do we call this? Uh, this is to heal one part of her ego, uh, ego, what is it called? Inch, no, what is it? Imprints from, mm -hmm. from some kind of emotional situation that she carries. And this woman is only helping her to heal this. Mm. But she wants, she herself wants to heal it very consciously. She's kind of thorough in what she does. Mm. So this is the only part I can see mm -hmm. of the family where work has to be done. Okay. And it will be done. It will be done. It will be prepared. And it will be finished. Mm -hmm. Is there anything we can assist today? Yeah, maybe a prayer. Okay. For all of them that are going together there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you like to give them prayer? Yes. Thank you. We pray that this family that is going to come together for a very special and beautiful event, mm -hmm. will find the love in themselves and feel more and more during the time that they stay, the love spreading out of themselves and unite with all the others around them. Mm. We pray for them that they may all feel the love of the one that's going to be with them. Be blessed.
each and every one of them. Amen. Amen. And I'd like to pray also for the land where the ceremony will be to remind them that they're loved and supported. Yes. And the energy of the place will be supporting that. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Very good. She wanted to check if there's any heavy metals need to be released removed from the body. Yeah, in a dross. Yeah, in a dross. Mm -hmm. Let's do that now, please. Would you assist with that? We try as much as we can, yeah. There's, what can be done in order to remove heavy metals? Normally it's diet. It's, it's, it's a very dense material. Mm -hmm. So, um, it is not really a big issue. Mm -hmm. But we understand because of the perfection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what is possible we go, and the rest you can do with the diet, and it will actually be part of the ascension process and creation of the new physicality that is is the present that, that everyone gets. Yeah. Wonderful. Take another deep breath and speak a little louder. I also noticed that there was a few moments that she had some memory loss, like I asked the name of the book and she had a hard time to remember or the name of a friend that she had a hard time to remember. Can we help her now with the memory? That's only uh, currently, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, um, she, she connects a lot with high energies. Yeah. And um, you can't sometimes be on top of everything. Yeah. In the denser part of reality while you're trying to integrate all the other things. And it's happening on many levels sometimes. It is <clears throat> um, a lot of unconscious processes that need capacity mm. in these areas. But humans try to function really well mm. while this is being done. So normally, a rest is needed. Mm. And at times, that's not possible. So there comes such a struggle. So she should take more of the fish oil mm -hmm. again. But it is okay and will cease. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you for that, Pish. I'm just was asking that from my own curiosity to see what can be done. I'm wondering, can you remind her the name of the book? No. Mm -hmm. I'll try. Can we access that information? Let's go back to the time that you read that book. Maybe even looking at the cover. She did find it again at some stage, some years back. We can see the color. Mm.
Okay, wonderful. This is just my curiosity. So it, it sounds a bit as if it's not on the market anymore. Mm. <clears throat> but still. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for trying. We can have a deep breath now. And release completely. I want you to go for another moment to the beautiful place, the most beautiful place where you rest, when you recharged, when you enjoy the nature. Tell me when you're there. Okay. Wonderful. Very, very good. I wanted to ask if there's any more things that you wanted to share with B. Maybe about her ascension process or anything like that, about what she can do in the future to be more aligned to her, what she came here to do. Yeah, definitely more relaxation. Um, a little bit more into nature. But relaxation and not to be. Um, concerned about not doing the right thing, that would do it. Mm -hmm. Meditation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So meditation and rest and yeah. just celebrating and not being concerned too much. Yeah. Being in nature. Wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. May I speak to Ariel again? Hi. Hi, thank you for coming forward. Do you have anything else to add? Nothing to add. Okay. Very good. And I wanted to ask if that will be okay to ask personal questions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you so much. So I wanted to ask also about the Lion Gate that is coming up. Do you have information about that? Um, we know the energies coming in strong. We know Preparations are being made by many humans to be able <coughs> to be able to hold the energies and allow them to pass through mm -hmm. into the earth. We feel and see with much love the, the effort that many people make to go to locations where they feel they should be that's that's wonderful and and all you can do just be you we don't have more to say Mm. Be you. Be you. Mm. Be you. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think humans are too concerned about the performance. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Mm. There's no measurements. There's no failing. You. Mm. Thank you. Ariel, would you check if there is any light beings, anyone maybe from my council or anyone that would like to give me a personal message? Someone standing behind you, very, very bright. Standing you, it's like standing behind you and touching your forehead and just any love mm -hmm. just any love and it's in a way we understand that all of you are seeking um, that personal thing, that personal reassurance or that you are doing everything right because there's no wrong. And once you listen inside, <clears throat> you're receiving everything and you you're doing such a great job right mm. you're doing such a great job mm. it's a delight to see you working mm. Mm. There's no more to say. Okay. It's it's a joy to see. Mm. Beautiful. Wonderful. Are you able to connect with the light behind me? Does this energy want to express itself? So you want to speak to this? Mm -hmm. Try. Mm -hmm. Another deep breath, relax, completely. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming forward. Do you align the vessel to allow to express yourself fully and freely? I try. Thank you so much. She's no use to this energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much. He's doing a wonderful job. You can give her a gift. Would you like to give her a gift for doing that? Mm. Yeah. What gift would you like to give her? 
a rupee. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose to give her a rupee? Can use her voice a little louder. <coughs> That's the problem. That's very good. She's doing really well. Very good. Allow and soothe her throat with nice light. So. Thank you for coming forward and giving her a gift. What else would you like to express today? I feel, I feel like saying I give you the energy An eagle for your performance at the Lions Gate event. to dance. Could you hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's hard to bring more through here. Mm -hmm. You're doing an amazing job and I feel the energy through me now. So you would like me to dance like an eagle in the Lion Gate? Mm -hmm. Is there anything else would you like me to do? Enjoy that performance. And that should be on the side where we've been before? The side that you plan to go to. Yeah. yeah. We'll be there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is there anything else would you like me? Anything else that I see the colors of black, white, silver that this eagle has expressed. Wow, it's really hard to get through. Okay, you're doing wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate all that. So, if you wish to wear those colors, you can to, to make the performance stronger, but no need to if you can't. Mm. We will be with you. Mm. We'll be part of it. It's going to be great. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think we have to go. Now. Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye. I appreciate it. Bye bye. Much love. Thank you for allowing that. Let me speak with the higher self again. And let's align back the body for the frequencies. Very good job. Go back to the most beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Healing temple. You can receive the beautiful healing. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. It was a wonderful experience. May I speak with the higher self, please? Yes. How is she doing now? Very tired. Yeah. 
very good picture, very happy, and she thinks that she made it all up. <laughs> That's a very natural thing to feel while she's doing that. That's when the ego tried to come back, tell you that you did it all wrong. <laughs> she did a wonderful job. She will hear the recording, recording, and she will trust that. I'm sure. Thank you for all this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is there anything else would you like to help her with the integration of this material? Mm. Yes, we. Well, we will actually help her remind of the ruby. Mm -hmm. um, because the ruby 